Number 42, water gas, a mixture of H2 and CO, is an important industrial fuel produced by the reaction of steam with red hot coke, essentially pure carbon. And then we have letter D. It says, what will happen to the concentration of each reactant and product at equilibrium if CO is added? Okay, so we're changing the system. We're increasing the amount of CO, and we just have to find out what's going to happen with the equilibrium. So I'm going to find out where CO is. I'm going to make sure that it's a gas or aqueous because that's when we go by the rules of Le Chatelier's principle, but it's a gas. So I'm just going to say that we're increasing this. Now here's all the information that we need to know for Le Chatelier's principle. Well, if you increase the amount of something, you have way too much, right? You went over the equilibrium amount. So what do you want to do? You need to counteract this. You don't want too much. You want to drop it down. So how are we going to drop it down? You have to shift to the opposite side. You don't want to go in this direction because then you would make even more. So you have to go the other direction. And once you put that arrow, you see how I'm going from the product to the reactant. So once you put that arrow in there, you can get rid of this arrow because now we're going to be counteracting. What's going to happen? Well, just make sure that we're talking about the gases. Here's a gas and here's a gas, right? So since I'm going to the products, this would have to increase. And then these are the reactants. They would have to drop. And that kind of makes sense. That's what we want. Now, what's going on with this guy? Well, it's a solid. It's not aqueous or a gas. Remember, solids are not in the K expression. So when they're talking about concentration, would the concentration change? No, because it's not in that formula. But you might say, you might say, well, wait a minute, Christina, right? If this goes up, right? And, and if I'm making the reactants, I mean, this has to go up. You're right. It has to go up. But what's going up? The mass is increasing, not the concentration. So bracket. So not concentration of C, just how much you have of C. So here are all of your answers. So for H2O, that's going to increase. The concentration of H2O will increase. The concentration of CO will decrease. The concentration of H2 would also decrease. And then when you come back and you say, if you want to say the concentration of C, will not change if you want to kind of write that down because it's a solid and it's not aqueous or a gas. And there are your answers. So hopefully that helps, guys. I think we have one more out of this bunch. So hang tight, okay? I will see you in a little bit. If you guys are on the playlist, I'll definitely see you in a little bit, okay? So hang tight. Bye-bye.